Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study change. And what is change? It is when you go shopping and you buy something and you give money for that item you're buying. But you give too much, okay? And that is because you don't have the exact amount, so you give a little bit too much. And then the shopkeeper or the clerk will give you back some money. That's your change. And the shopkeeper or clerk will give you back the difference between the price and the amount you give. Okay, so that was many words. Let's just look at it with an example and it might be easier. Let's say you go buy an apple and it costs 90 cents. And you give this much money because you don't have exactly 90 cents in your purse. So instead you give four quarters. So how much is this? Do you remember? Four quarters makes 100 cents. Let me write it here. So you're overpaying. You're paying too much, right? And then the clerk will give you back 10 cents. That's your change. That is the difference between these two. 90 cents, 100 cents. It is the amount that you overpay. You pay 10 cents too much. So the clerk gives you 10 cents back. That's your change. And I'll draw it here as a 10 cent coin, a dime. Okay. How about here? You buy a toy car and it is 42 cents. Its price is 42 cents. You give this much because you don't have 42 cents exactly. 25 and 25. That is 50 cents, right? So how much are you overpaying? What's the difference of these two numbers? It is 8 cents. So the clerk will give you back 8 cents. Or, of course, it has to be 5, a nickel, and then 3 pennies, 8 cents. Now here's a little bucket for picking blueberries that maybe I want to buy for Matthew, so he can go pick blueberries. 81 cents. And this is the money I'm going to give. These are the coins. So here's 50 cents, 60 70, 85, 85, okay? Let me write it here so you can see it. What's the difference here? 81, 85. By how much do I overpay? Four cents, right? So the clerk has to give me back four cents, four pennies. And lastly, a banana, 66 cents. You give, how much is this? three quarters. These two are 50 and then 25, 75 cents. What is the difference now between 75 and 66? If you are at 66 and you want to jump to 75, how many jumps do you need to take? You can think of going from 66 to 70 and then to 75. There would be first four, then five. The difference is 9 cents. So, to make 9 cents, you would need a nickel and then pennies, 4 pennies. Over here, let's say you buy two toys. One costs 24 cents, the other one costs 20 cents. And you give this much money to pay. How much will your change be? We need to first figure out something. What? We need to figure out how much is your total here when you buy those two things, 24 and 20. You add those and you get the total. It is 44 cents, right? And yet then you give two quarters, which is 50 cents. And now you can figure out the change. 44, 50. How much is there in between, so to speak? Six cents, yeah. So five or a nickel and a penny. A plum costs 20 cents. And Matt is asking, why not blueberries? He wants to eat blueberries. Well, maybe, but how much would one blueberry cost? I don't know. Plums are just so much bigger and yummier. Oh, you like them too. Okay, that's okay. That's good. Plum, 20 cents. You buy three. So what is your total cost? 
three plums, 20 cents each. Yep, it's going to be 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 60 cents. And then how much are you giving here? 50, 10, and 25. So, what's your change? Over here, you basically give this and this. You have the exact amount, so you will get no change. Okay. Here is the coins. Here are the coins you have, okay? You go shopping and those are the coins in your purse. Let's say you buy a drink for 97 cents. What will be your change? Can you figure that one out? 97 cents. Which coins would you give? Okay, this is very close to 100 cents, right? So let's say you give these because these four quarters makes a hundred cents. So you give hundred cents. It costs 97, so your change, the difference between 97 and 100 is three. So you get three pennies. Now you go buy a gum for 38 cents. And what will your change be? That is saying then there's no change. Okay, yeah, that's correct because you have the exact change. You have the exact amount, 38, yeah. yeah exactly, three dimes and eight pennies because you got those when you bought the drink. So you have eight pennies to use. So no change, but it's also possible that you would have used four dimes to pay for this 38 cents. Maybe you are not counting all the pennies in your pocket. Maybe you just use four dimes from here. And in that case, then you would get two cents change, right? Okay, we're all done with this lesson.